Welcome back to Kevin's Mobile Repair. 2011 Nissan Maxima V6 model doing a radiator. Nissan loves putting support housings and stuff here to make things more structurally sound but more pain in the butt in order to replace items. So, how we take stuff out. First, you will take your air baffle out, three 10 millimeters. You will take this cover right here off, nothing but trim clips. I took out the overflow tank in order to get to the clamp for this upper radiator hose. Because this hose right here attaches here and it's got a middle section right in between. Uh, that gave me more clearance in there. This bracket piece right here, I was able to take it out. The service manual says you got to remove the uh, front fascia, which I did not do. Uh, get that bracket right there itself out, then that clears everything up here. Take out your hood latch right here, swing it up out of the way. You can disconnect it there if you want to. I do not like to. I was able to work around it. You will also have to take out your AC condenser in order to do this. Uh, there's not enough clearance to get everything out of the way in order to slide it out. So drain all your Freon, then you can disconnect that middle piece connector there. One goes to the condenser side right here, and the other one goes to the two hoses that go right here. The condenser comes out real easy, then you can gain access to everything you need to as far as the radiator. The radiator itself is held in by two clips, like yay push in, sorry, pull out this little tab right here, walk it out, do the same for the other side, and that holds it in place here. We got two transmission hoses and lower radiator hose. Those are the fun parts. So these are rather interesting to get to. You can pull the radiator back and get to them and work your way down. Um, they are really fun and tight down there at that bottom half. Uh, I usually rotate the clamp to the location to where I can get uh, my hose clamp pliers on there and then I'm able to take it off use a pry bar to uh, actually loosen up the lower radiator hose but that's what I did as far as that and just make sure you going back together you do put on those two transmission cooler hoses otherwise you will be making a mess uh, going back in, pretty simple, just drops in, start with your lower radiator hose first, walk it on there, put a little bit of um, like rust penetrant, PB blaster, something like that on the inside of the tube, it makes it easier for it to slide onto the new component. Also put a little bit of rust penetrant around the hose clamp, that way it also slides on the hose as well. Uh, other than that, going back together, just reverse the procedure backwards nothing really as far as um, tricks or any tips is getting that it's pretty straightforward what you see you take out uh, like I said I did not remove this front face you can if you want to give you more room but uh, I was able to get that bracket out and then not have to worry about it one less thing to have to take out because it looks like this thing already has some damage on it and uh, I just did not want to deal with that one situation so, any questions or comments, please feel free to let me know.